Hey guys, Geek Info everyone! On this video we're gonna talk about how to create and delete users and database in the Postgres SQL in several ways. So let's start. So Postgres SQL is already installed into my Ubuntu operational system. Uh, to check uh, the version of Postgres SQL you can use uh, this command psql plus version uh, press enter and as you can see my version of PostgreSQL I highlighted you can check by your own so first way how to create a PostgreSQL user and database uh, you have to uh, log in uh, as a PostgreSQL default super user uh, named Postgres so Postgres press enter as you can see we log in uh, as Postgres user uh, so and uh, we can create a user and database by terminal utilities our first command is gonna be create user so uh, then the name of the user I'm gonna call it user1 and uh, don't forget use flag p uh, uh, p flag uh, means uh, assigning a password to user so then press enter and you have to put password for this user okay and then do it again okay here we go so user one uh, uh, was successfully created so let's create a database use command create db uh, then uh, then name of database like db1 uh, then use flag capital O uh, means uh, to assign uh, the owner to this database and the owner is going to be user1 so press enter okay here we go uh, db1 uh, successfully created uh, okay uh, so uh, we can check uh, this database and this user to login into the shell SQL then you can use this command backslash L as you can see uh, there is a list of database and uh, there is a DB1 database uh, the owner user 1 so as you can use another command backslash du press enter and you can see there is a, a list of a table of uh, users so it's a postgres super user as default user and user one is a user we created okay uh, so i'm gonna show you another way how to create uh, by create user command uh, what I like more so create user and use okay and use interactive flag so press enter and uh, there is a uh, gonna be creating step by step first of all you have to enter the name of the role and the name is gonna be user 2 press enter then password so you can put the password Sam again put the password okay then uh, then it's a uh, the terminal ask you uh, about the role of this uh, user it's gonna be a super user or not okay I'm gonna agree okay and we can check 
Okay. Uh, as you can see on this table, uh, they are Postgres, yeah, as default, user 1 we created and user 2 we created in the last, uh, our last command. And as you can see on the uh, attributes, list of roles attributes, you can see uh, for user 1 it's uh, uh, several attrib attributes assigned as super user, create roles, create db, so and no attributes uh, for role uh, of user 1. Okay, uh, so what you can do also is to uh, delete uh, user and database. Uh, use command drop user Okay, user 2, press enter. Okay, we delete uh, user 2. Uh, to delete uh, user 1, if we try to do that, it's going to be error. Okay, because uh, uh, role user 1 cannot be dropped because some object depend on it. Uh, that means we uh, created database and assign to this user so firstly we have to delete this database okay use uh, drop db command and then uh, the name of database so it's db1 press enter so we delete it and then we can delete user1 so press enter and we delete it as you can see uh, there is only uh, super user default Postgres and there is no database uh, so we deleted uh, each users and database successfully okay uh, okay to let's uh, let's see how it can be completed by a uh, second way so second way how we can create a user and database we can do that by sql shell so first of all we have to log into the shell we can use this command sudo u postgres Okay, press enter. So uh, now we logged into uh, Postgres SQL shell uh, to create a new user. You have to put this command create user. Then you you have to put name of user. I use user one. So, and I assign a password to this user. Okay. Uh, don't forget to uh, type a semicolon in the end of the of your command. So press enter, and we create a role, create a new user. To check uh, a table with uh, users, you can uh, put. Uh, backslash du command press enter as you can see there is a user one user and there is a no privilege uh, for this user no attributes uh, so let's change this situation and to assign and to provide privilege for user one by alter command alt user user1 I'm gonna provide a super user privilege for user1 super user press enter as you can see uh, backslash du uh, there is uh, one attribute appeared here uh, super user privilege assigned to uh, user 1 uh, so let's create 
database to create database you can use create database command then you have to put the name of your database I write DB1 uh, so and I assign the owner of this database as user one okay press enter and create database so this database created successfully you can uh, see a list of database backslash L press enter so it's a list of database on this table you can see default uh, database and uh, our database assign, assigning to user 1 uh, so that's good uh, let's uh, try to log into a shell uh, by different users uh, connected to different uh, database so now we have only one user which assigned to a database uh, user 1 db1 so let's uh, connect to this database by this user so we have to clear the terminal screen uh, so to connect to database you have to use psql command and plus flag h you have to mention uh, the host like in our case it's a local host so ip address of the local host uh, 127.0.0.1 Uh, so you have to uh, type a uh, user after the u flag uh, so user gonna be user1 and database is db1 so and I use flag w to uh, to connect by password so press enter and password is like one to three in my case so successfully I connected to uh, database one by user one so as you can see okay uh, thanks for watch this video I hope you like it and it's gonna be helpful and useful uh, for you thank you